Kashinova. That's a personal best of just under 24 seconds. A number of these women have run under 24 seconds, including this woman. Alberta's having a very fine competition, the 23-year-old. Outside, another woman who's doing very well, the 22 year old Ivona David from Austria. So, from the inside, it's Kasyanova, Kachova from the Czech Republic, Prina, Austria, Maivold, Germany, Veta. And on the outside, Dadic. Yeah. Well, from the far side of the stadium, directly opposite to us, it's not completely clear what happened there. Well, they come back. We can take a look at the long jump. This is the final jump of the third round here. This is Jasmine Sawyers, who's just lost out on her medal contention with 6.63. And a doubtable competitor, though. Oh, that's showing just that. That must be a lifetime best for Jasmine Sawyers, really rising to the occasion. She surprised some by winning the British title at 6.75, and there's absolutely delight there in her camp. No wonder, pretty much perfect on the board, and young Jasmine Sawyers, who really is building up a championship pedigree. She may be the British number three behind Proctor and Eugen, but she can beat them when it matters. Eugen didn't make this final, and Jasmine Sawyers could well be on her way to a medal with a jump like that. That is terrific, and look at the delight there. Wow, what a performance. 6.75 was her PB. Just look at what it is now. 686. Well, it's wind assisted, but she won't care about that. 686 for Jasmine Sawyers. Getting close to Spanovic. It's 694. Well, it was Kachova, the Czech athlete, who got a warning. But a false start in the multi events doesn't mean disqualification. So as they settle for a second time. Better seventh at the European Championships two years ago, trying to refocus. So as they go to their marks from the inside, it's Kazjanova, the warned Kachova in lane three, Prina, Myvold, Veta. An empty lane where Timinska, the pole, should have been, and Dadic from Austria. This time they're away cleanly, and Vetter's running very, very well. So too on the outside is Dadic. But Vetter really, really working hard here round the bend, coming off the bend very strongly and in the lead. A long way back is Dadic, and on her inside, it's Maibold, the German. But Vetter is going to streak away with this win, and she's running extremely well. Dadic comes through for second, 23.90, just two hundredths out of side her personal best. Let's see if that time's adjusted. Well, you can just see in the background there, Veta, 23.89. And that'll mean that she leads the women's heptathlon after four events. She'll be the overnight leader. Three events tomorrow still to come. The long jump, the javelin and the 800 meters. But she'll be going to bed in pole position tonight. Almost from the gun, she was in front. Of course, placings don't matter, as we've explained on many occasions. It's the time that you do. But this was a very good time indeed. And she's really working hard. Dadic also on her outside, having a very good run indeed. But better. Carrying on the fine tradition of Dutch multi-events.